いてMyself so close to the edge. But now I was safe. We'd climbed Everest. In spite of everything, we had succeeded. At least I thought we had. Outside in the rising storm, my friends were in a struggle for their lives. After summoning, Rob and Doug were now descending to the Hillary step. The other climbers were scattered all over the mountain. Everest had reduced them to lost and frightened children, unable to tell where they were. Everything erupted into anarchy and chaos. Dad? You're up, mate. Don't worry. Come on, breathe now, mate. Breathe. That's it. This is home. I'm at the top of the step. I need oxygen. Wait, they're dropping. Rob, it's Andy. It's gone, mate. It's all used up. What? Rob, it's gone. Huh? Why is that possible, eh? We have six cylinders. Six cylinders is this. No, that's gone. Where are you? I 
What's that, man? Huh? I beat Everest. Rob, is that you? No! No, it's Mike! And Yaska! Back! Listen, you want to get up! Yeah. All right, come on. You gotta move. Let's go. I believe I will. Mike! Make room! We lost you! Uh, I picked up Beck. It's like Yaska. She's had it. Come on, sit down. Hey, how are you guys doing? Very rough. Yeah, mine too. Listen, we're never gonna make it back to camp. We gotta try. Yeah, let's stick together. Sure, sure. But which way? I'm not sure. Higher on the mountain. Lop Sang lowered an exhausted Scott Fisher past Rob Hall and his friend and client, Doug Hansen, who was so sick from the altitude that he could no longer move. We had all reached the summit, but there are no conquerors on Mount Everest. John, uh, John, where's Rob? Huh? Isn't he back? No, no. Has to be. Has to. The storm's still bad. Yeah. I climbed with 15 expeditions on Chomo Lungma, John. Never ever see storm come. So fast. <coughs> so even. We gotta move. Although we didn't talk about it, we knew Rob Hall might as well have been on the moon. In this kind of storm, at such an extreme altitude, rescue was almost impossible. We can't make it, John! We can't get to Rob! We have to try! We can't get them! Our friends are out there, and they're dying! We can't go after them! We must turn around, now! Scott! Josh, come on, get up. Come on, get up and walk, you bloody punter. You got children waiting for you. You should go. Huh? You should go. Go. You can't make it. With me. I... I'm not leaving. Fear of mine. There's no choice. You gotta go, Rob. You'll die, too. Neither of us... It's gonna... It's gonna die. My people... Do not... Die. Jump. I just... I just... 
I just jump off this mountain. That's what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna jump. I just... I just... Doug. He's gone. Doug's gone. Andy was with you. Yeah. He was, he was here. But now he's gone too. Oh God. So never left. Oh. I need. I need oxygen. There's some O's. 200 feet below you. There were six cylinders. Six? 600 feet? No. 200 feet. 
200 feet. I don't believe I can make it. I have to try, Rob. There's, there's something wrong with my legs. Try. Rob, try. You've got to crawl if you have to. Can you get to the O's? Gotta try. Rob! Gotta try. Can you get to the O's? Gotta try. Summit. Most of the others had almost made it down to Camp 4. But by now, the wind chill was more than 100 below zero. Just 200 yards from the safety of camp, the weakest climbers brought the whole group to a halt. Stars! I see stars! Is it clearing? I can navigate by the stars! Come on, get up! Let's go! Come on! Cam, Sandy, come on! It's not good. Sam! You go back! Get help! I'll stay here with Ed! No! Both of you go! No chance of risk to that way! I'll stay! Tim, we're the guys! You can't stay! I'm not leaving Charlotte! You hear me? Ted, listen to reason. I'm not leaving. Stay away, Charlotte. I love you. Stay away. Get up, Yasko. I don't want to die. Don't leave me. Calm down. I don't want to die. Calm down. I don't want to die here. We're going to bring help. Calm down. Don't leave me. We'll bring help. I don't don't leave me! Yeah, let's go! You have to let go! No! You can't do it! Don't do I don't want to die! Scott! Scott, you hear me? I am invincible. We were reduced to banging pots to guide the climbers home. By now, Andy was dead. Doug was dead. Scott Fisher was probably dead. When I tried to comprehend the enormity of this fact, my mind refused to process it. Mike! Come on, get up! Boys are back! Come on! Come on! We'll catch you inside the tent. There's a... a group. Uh, huddled. About 200. 250 yards at the least. If we don't bring them in, they're gonna die. We have to go out and make a rescue. I tried once already, but this time we can make it. Trevor!
Looking for this. Breathe, Charlotte. It's oxygen. Breathe. Their exhaustion, Groom and Vitalman left Camp 4 to make one last attempt to rescue Rob Hall. Rob! Rob! It's Mike Groom and Neil Vitalman. We're just above Camp 4. Rob here, Mike. Listen, we'll try and get you, mate, but it's looking pretty bad. We'll never reach you in this storm. It's all right, Mike. It's all right. We gotta get back! We gotta go! Come on! Let's go! Scott! Please! Breathe! We can save the Taiwanese climber. But what about Scott? Can't the two Sherpas get him down? We can't carry Scott. We can only save one. If we try and save both, <laughs> 